grow into these structures that you can see from space and that support this incredible biodiversity, one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the world. Coral bleaching usually happens in response to a stress event like higher water temperatures. We've just had six consecutive years of record-breaking ocean temperatures and we've lost already around 50% of our coral reefs worldwide. Coral Maker's mission is to significantly upscale coral reef restoration. At the moment, coral reef restoration is happening at quite a small scale, and a lot of the work is being done manually. Coral Maker is really the perfect sandbox project for Autodesk Robotics research because it exists at this intersection between the need for adaptive robotics, the need for cutting edge sensing, and the need for robots to work alongside people, not just shielded away in an industrial space, but to actually interact with people and, and have this seamless workflow between human workers and robot workers, and Coral Maker embodies this. Right now we're doing coral propagation. So we're just gonna put some blobs of glue on these limestone plugs and then we'll stick the corals onto those. This is the part that we're working with Autodesk to develop the robotics for. One of the big requirements is scale and robotic automation I think is you know, a pretty practical approach to try and, and, and meet those kinds of requirements. The tree branches will be kind of interesting when we have to worry about cutting them. Where maybe we just have like laser safety cuts. We've worked on manufacturing the initial prototypes for tooling that we use to make the coral skeletons that got deployed into the ocean. We had to find a common ground between something that was suitable to go into the ocean to drive coral reef growth, but we were also able to manufacture it at scale. And that was the real challenge that we had, finding this perfect overlap. Current restoration projects are doing around a hectare per year at the moment. With Coral Maker's technology and paired with this larger supply chain and the development of this industry, we can do 100 hectares per year. Taran has an ability to communicate why this is so important and to give you that urgency and to make you feel that this is not only possible, it is imperative and it is necessary. I think the tree branches are ultimately going to be fine. Like if we can make sure we're not damaging them, we can really pick them up from anywhere. Relocating corals or assisted migration is something that I'm really passionate about. And this is where I think that Coral Maker can have a lot of impact. We can actually move those reefs to locations that will be better for them under climate change. I want to see change and I want to see our coral reef ecosystems get all the possible interventions they're going to need to save them.